Irfan Beytok has been making custom suits for some of the wealthiest and most powerful men in Washington since 1970. Today, Beytok is making a summer suit for a young law student from the southern state of Georgia, where it stays warm for much of the year. He's using a cool cotton fabric called seersucker, which the British adopted from India nearly 300 years ago. Because it's very light, it doesn't wrinkle, and you know, just very convenient fabric. Seersucker was originally known by its ancient Hindi and Persian name Shiro Shekar, or milk and sugar. Supposedly, the smooth white fabric resembled the surface of milk, and the rough stripes had the bumpy texture of sugar. While the British may have perfected the Shiro Shekar fabric, Beytok says it was the Americans who made the seersucker suit famous. During the summer, because the heat, you know, humidity in, you know, this town, and makes the, you know, just the seersucker fabric is favor, you know, just for the people. For these modern-day members of Congress, Seersucker Thursday is merely a bit of nostalgia. But it harks back to the early 1900s, when the lightweight fabric was popular among Washington lawmakers. Eventually, the Seersucker suit became mandatory summer attire for Southern gentlemen. Seersucker lost its popularity when air conditioning made Washington climate more tolerable, but it's still considered a mark of elegance today. Dr. Omidvar, who prefers not to use his full name, is mostly retired now, but he was a Republican lobbyist for many years. His office was next to the Willard Hotel in Washington, where he met with high-powered lawmakers at this very bar. In the summer, it was often while dressed in one of his many seersucker suits. It can get you noticed, and it is, it is actually to fit in into the culture of the House, the, the Senate, uh, the politician circles. Uh, it is, you become like one of them or part of the crowd, so. Dr. Omidvar bought his first seersucker to attend an event for President Reagan in the 1980s. It cost $900, an enormous sum back then. But today, even young people without much money can afford their own seersuckers. The fabric is making a comeback, and a jacket can be bought online for as little as $60. An example of the newfound popularity, this seersucker social in Washington earlier this summer. Start on this one for me. Right away. And the custom suit Irfan Beytok is making will cost the young gentleman from Georgia more than $2,800. But Beytok does not mind that this once exclusive fashion statement from the American South is now available to everyone. So someone can buy it for $49.50 a suit and wear it, it's, it's great. Why not? You know, it's, gonna, it's not going to be exactly the one I'm making. It'll be different, but as long as it makes them happy, so that's important. Blue blazer? Yeah. Let me show you my favorite one. Baytalk says few people custom order seersucker suits these days. The fabric is just too cheap now to justify the labor costs of a tailor. But its low cost may be part of the reason why it's enjoying a renaissance in Washington social circles. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks again. Okay. Bye-bye. Mona Rabi, VOA News, Washington.